Milrinone is a great anotrope to have in your armamentarium for patients in cardiogenic shock. Milrinone is one of many tools that you have in your tool belt when managing a patient with cardiogenic shock. It works because it helps to increase the squeeze of the heart, but also helps to increase the relaxation for better efficiency. Milrinone has a special property that the other anotropes don't have. It causes pulmonary arterial vasodilation. And why should you care about pulmonary arterial vasodilation? When you have a patient who has RV dysfunction and they have pulmonary hypertension, that RV can't push against the resistance very well. Milrinone increases the contractility of that right ventricle, but also causes pulmonary arterial vasodilation so now it's easier to squeeze against less resistance, improving cardiac output. But this fancy feature of milrinone doesn't come without some risks. It can also cause systemic arterial vasodilation. Unlike some of the other drugs that we use in resuscitation, milrinone's half-life is longer. So if you start it up and you get peripheral arterial vasodilation, the patient gets hypotensive and you want to turn it off, it hangs around for a little while. And if you have a patient who has renal dysfunction, as many patients in shock do, that milrinone is gonna hang out even longer. So it may not be the best anotrope to start if you have somebody that's already on multiple pressors because if you get hypotension, you're gonna to have to increase those vasopressors even more. So think about milrinone when you have somebody who's in cardiogenic shock, particularly if you have RV dysfunction. And that's why it's important to keep in mind 